Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to average percentages in Excel. Excel is frequently used for calculations and supports all the basic mathematical functions. It also has some functions defined of its own, which you can use to perform calculations. Here we're going to see how to calculate the average uh, percentage and there are two ways of doing this. The first is to use the built-in function of Excel, which is the average function. So let's see how to use this. Type the equal sign to indicate we're going to enter calculation. Enter the average number. So what this does is it takes a series of numbers or a range of numbers and returns the mean or the average. So I would drag uh, the pointer down to select all the cells in the range and close the brackets and press enter and I get the average percentage here. Now the second way of course is to use the mathematical formula which is the sum of the numbers divided by the count. So for that also I can use uh, some functions in Excel. One is the sum function which adds, adds up a series of numbers or a range. So I select the range, close brackets, I've got the sum. Of course that looks uh, wrong because it's greater than 100 but that's okay. For count, I will use the count function. The count function returns uh, a count of all the numbers in the range of cells. Or I could uh, put a series of uh, cells. So here I'll select it. Count counts only the numbers. If I had text in these uh, cells, it won't, won't count that. In this case, since I'm, uh, I'm counting only numbers, I will use the count function and press enter. So that has got 24. Now, because these numbers uh, in the range are formatted as percentage, you may get this displayed as a percentage, in which case you can just click the comma style um, button to change it to a regular number. Now I use the mathematical formula, which is the sum divided by the count or the number of values. And of course, the result is the same in both cases. So these are two ways to average percentages in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.